Then you want me to help you provide it. I don't embarrass you by telling you the silly non-scientific basis of the way in which I helped you. Is that it? All right, that's it. But you still work on the assumption that I am a numerologist, and I am not. I call myself that so that the police won't bother me, and the little man chuckled dryly. So that the psychiatrist won't either. I'm a mathematician, an honest one. Zubinsky smiled. The numerologist said, I build computers. I study probable futures. What? Does that sound worse than numerology to you? Why? Given enough data and a computer capable of sufficient numbers of operations in unit of time, the future is predictable, at least in terms of probabilities. When you compute the motions of a missile in order to aim an anti-missile missile, isn't it the future you're predicting? The missile and anti-missile would not collide if the future were predicted incorrectly. I do the same thing. Since I work with a greater number of variables, my results are less accurate. You mean you'll predict my future? Very approximately, once I've done that, I will modify the data by changing your name and no other fact about you. I throw that modified datum into the operation program. Then I try other modified names. I study each modified future and find one that contains a greater degree of recognition for you than the future that now lies ahead of me. Or no, let me put it another way. I will find you a future in which the probability of adequate recognition is higher than the probability of that in your present future. Why change my name? That is the only change I ever make, for several reasons. Number one, it is a simple change. After all, if I make a great change or many changes, so many new variables enter that I can no longer interpret the result. My machine is still crude. Number two, it is a reasonable change. I can't change your height, can I? Or the color of your eyes, or even your temperament. Number three, it is a significant change. Names mean a lot to people. Finally, number four, it is a common change that is done every day by various people. Zabotinsky said, What if you don't find a better future? That is the risk you will have to take. You will be no worse off than now, my friend. Zabotinsky stared at the little man uneasily. I don't believe any of this. I'd sooner believe numerology. The numerologist sighed. I thought a person like yourself would feel more comfortable with the truth. And I want to help you, and there is so much yet for you to do. If you believed me a numerologist, you would not follow through. I thought if I told you the truth, you would let me help you. Zabotinsky said, If you can see the future... Why, I am not the richest man on earth, is that it? But I am rich, in all I want. You want recognition, and I want to be left alone. I do my work, no one bothers me. That makes me a billionaire. I need a little real money, and this I get from people such as yourself. Helping people is nice, and perhaps a psychiatrist would say it gives me a feeling of power and feeds my ego. Now, do you want me to help you? How much did you say? Fifty dollars. I will need a great deal of biographical information from you, but I have prepared a form to guide you. It's a little long, I'm afraid. Still, if you can get it in the mail by the end of the week, I will have an answer for you by the... He put out his lower lip and frowned in mental calculation. The twentieth of next month. Five weeks? So long? I have other work, my friend, and other clients. If I were a fake, I could do it much more quickly. Is it agreed, then? Sabatinsky rose. Well, agreed. This is all confidential now. Perfectly. You will have all your information back when I tell you what change to make, and you have my word that I will never make any further use of any of it. The nuclear physicist stopped at the door.